Uh, but I was reading our colleague Polly Middlehurst on Twitter, and Polly drew attention to this sudden new designation of George Galloway's personal Twitter account. This is a label somebody at Twitter slapped on it uh, just the other day. Look at those words at the top there. Russia State Affiliated Media. Now, Twitter doesn't put those labels on everybody's account. They don't put it on Polly's, for example. It's highly selective labeling. So I thought we'd get George Galloway in to ask him about it. Uh, George, I take it this just came out of the blue to you. One minute you switched on, you opened up your laptop and you found that they'd done this to you. Yeah, four o'clock yesterday afternoon, without warning, without any questions mm. or seeking of clarification, uh, I got designated with what is intended to be the mark of Cain on my forehead, mm. undoubtedly. Uh, and it's mm. bizarre. I keep thinking that it must be some mistake, surely, as Private I used to say, because <laughs> when I uh, did uh, present a program on RT, I had no designation. Yeah. For years, I presented a program no. on RT when they were handing out these labels, uh, and I didn't get one. But now that I don't present a program on any Russian media, can't do so, indeed would now be committing mm. a criminal offense if I did so, mm. suddenly I'm slapped with this uh, ludicrous uh, uh, label. So I had a conference with my a council this afternoon, and uh, if they don't take it off, uh, we will seek uh, legal uh, redress. Uh, what I find interesting about this is the way they do it to some people and not to others. Now, as you've just said, uh, you used to be a presenter on the RT channel, which Ofcom uh, has now kiboshed in the UK. Um, uh, an old friend of mine, the uh, American comedian Dennis Miller, he hosted a show there. He used to be succeeded Larry King, who's a paragon of American broadcasting on RT. And, uh, and Dennis hasn't had his Twitter account uh, labeled Russia Affiliated State Media. People talk about the algorithms, but I actually think this is sort of uh, totalitarian interns actually going. I, I detect a human hand labeling you on this. I've got no doubt that it was somebody in sneakers uh, and skinny tight jeans mm. uh, in mm. the London headquarters <laughs> that did this. It was not an algorithm. Uh, the timing of it, I think, mm. was significant. I had just crossed 400,000 followers at 3 p.m. yesterday. Uh, and mm. by the way, it's gone up 12,000 since I sent that tweet that you just sh showcased. <laughs> uh, it was uh, obviously oh, yeah. a decision made that uh, I was getting just a bit too big for my boots. My audiences were getting too big, my following too big. By the way, of course, I don't, I'm not foolish enough to think everyone who follows me agrees with me. But most people, as you were just saying in your excellent monologue uh, before uh, you went to your Australian guest, most sensible people mm. want to hear more than one side of an argument. Uh, how else can you make a sensible decision if you're being deprived uh, of the other side of the story? And all of us are adult enough to know that there's at least two sides to every story. So I, I'm guessing it's a human intervention. I'm hoping that Elon Musk, the, the great white hope uh, of, uh, of, of social media, will intervene and will uh, get this struck off. If not, then it's to court we go. Well, I, I'm interested in this because when you say uh, there's at least two sides to every story and you're interested in hearing all of them, you're a man of, you're a man of the left. There's, uh, you, you don't deny it, you have, but you, you have a particularly iconoclastic view of the passing scene. Uh, you have surprising opinions. Uh, when I look at it, it seems pretty clear that there's uh, woke lefties embedded in all these uh, social media platforms that, generally speaking, uh, do down the right. So I get labeled routinely as misinformation. There's warnings put on my tweets or Facebook posts. I don't care about any of that, really. But it's, I know it's coming from the left and it's usually against the right. So I'm interested now that it's come from a man of the left. 
do, do, are you getting support from the British left for your present situation? Right. Have, have you had a lot well, of British lefties saying they got to do, they got to put an end to this? No, it depends what you mean by left. I call them liberals, but I agree with you. They've come to be what is seen as the left, but I don't regard them as left. I'm not left, actually. I'm a socialist, which I think is increasingly mm. a very different thing. Uh, when I supported Brexit, mm. appeared on stage with uh, Nigel Farage and so on, uh, they, they, mm. they branded me as they branded you uh, on many occasions and mm. others like Farage, like banks mm. like uh, Lawrence mm. Fox and mm. so on. Uh, so, uh, and mm. of course, I supported the union in the 2014 Scottish mm. referendum. Uh, some people were kind mm. enough to say my contribution was quite important in the victory there. So I don't take positions uh, that the left or the left wafa, as they're now known, uh, uh, try to bombard <laughs> me into taking. I, I do what I think is right. And I supported Donald Trump when he was banned from Twitter. I defended Nigel Farage when Alex Salmond and the SNP tried to run him out of uh, a town in Edinburgh, tried to keep him off BBC mm. Question Time and so on. So I believe in free speech. I'm a, I'm a true believer in it. Mm. I think that mm. uh, uh, the, uh, I want a thousand flowers to bloom and everyone free to mm. look at and smell each and every flower and choose which fragrance, mm. which colors they like best. Uh, that used to be a commonplace mm. in British society. Yeah. Certainly was ABC uh, on what was then called the left, but no longer. Uh, mm. The fascists in today's society are far more likely to be blue tick liberals, even calling themselves progressives with a, a guardian uh, under their arm, they're the people from whom mm. uh, what is present day fascism is emanating. Yeah, that's and that's an excellent point. It shouldn't be a left right thing. Uh, but when basically uh, the what you call the, 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 the blue tick liberals are basically saying you can't say that they're in the wrong, because when you're the side saying you can't say that we can't argue with you. But we can slap a label on you that says you're just uh, a, 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 an apparatchik of Vladimir Putin. That's a sign that they've lost the argument and they're in the wrong. Well, we're going to watch this. Uh, we're going to watch this case, George. And uh, do let us know how your council's efforts to stick it to Twitter shake out, because uh, they're the real enemy in this situation. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.